Hey guys, what's up? And in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about Harrow and update everybody on, you know, just how I'm doing in the game, my foundry, my more frames, and just kind of, I guess, just talk in general. So that is all my warframes right now. Um, I do have more at the moment because I've recorded this the other night. I now have Limbo and I'm actually really enjoying him. At first, his abilities were kind of confusing. So I do have now all of the Harrow parts. The Neuroptics was insane. So what happened was me and my friend Nico, we tried to get the Neuroptics. We tried about, I'd say, six times and then he had to go away to sleep. So then I tried later again at night and I was like, all right, maybe, you know, I'll get lucky, have a chance. So between that and playing with Nico, I counted it was at least 14 tries in total. So then after that, I tried to go to bed and I was like, okay, I can't sleep. I just have to keep trying because I just have so much pride, I guess. I just had to get the Harrow Neuroptics. Okay, so after that, it took me about 21 tries. That is the mission, by the way, to get the Harrow Neuroptics, if you guys are wondering. But it did take me 26 tries to actually get the Neuroptics. At first, I thought it was bugged. I thought it was just like the Kayla de Thame battle, because that too took me 26 tries to get the systems for Saren in order for me to build Chroma. But right here is just some gameplay of the mission. It is a fun mission, don't get me wrong. It's just that if you don't have Ivara or Loki or just any frame that can, that can become invisible, it can be kind of challenging. I don't know about you guys, but before I had Ivara and before I even know who she was, I could do spy missions without a problem as anybody. And it's not to say that like I'm going to discourage anyone to be like, no, you need Ivara or Loki for this mission because it would be nice. But you can do it, because I used to do spy missions as, as Oberon, and I, I did them pretty well, I have to say. I mean, I guess I'm, they just come naturally to me. But yeah, you definitely can farm for him. I didn't buy him. I don't really believe in buying platinum with money. I just kind of like to earn everything I get in the game. I don't know. It would just like kind of bother me if I bought something. So he will be done in three days, which is nice. Also, Kuva farming is pretty fun, too. Me and my friend Nico also did that, and it's actually not as bad as people say it is. I think I'm pretty decent at it, and my friend Nico was pretty good at it, too. But besides that, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys do want me to do like a weapon review or any other type of video, I will definitely do it. You know, I just need suggestions and stuff, but I think I might do that soon, weapon reviews, because I have a couple weapons that I really like, and I feel like with the right build can definitely be amazing damage dealers. But besides that, like I said, that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone for watching, and see you guys next time.